Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be reviewing another World Cup match which just finished between Wales and the United States of America. The match finished one all. The United States were up 1-0 at half time and then Wales in the second half got a goal and it finished in a draw. Going into this game, the United States, this was their 10th World Cup that they'd entered. The best result at the tournament were in 1930 when they come third. And for Wales... 64 years of hate was ended when they qualified for this tournament. It's only their second ever World Cup. In 1958, they qualified and they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Brazil. So a long time between drinks for Wales, but in the build-up with the national anthems of both teams, especially for the Welsh one, uh, lots of feeling in the stadium. And even though there were only 3,000 Welsh fans that travelled over to Qatar for the, for the World Cup, it sounded like 30,000 there, especially when that... National Anthem was being sung. Going into the game though, the first half, I thought that the United States started better than Wales. I thought that they were passing the ball better. They looked the better side. And in that first half, Wales nearly conceded an own goal. And then straight after that, Sargent, who plays his football with Norwich City in championship there, he hit the post for the United States. And they looked to be building towards that first goal. And then... Things kind of went a bit slow for both sides. The United States gave away two really daft yellow cards, two really two really daft tackles that were never really on and I think very clumsy. But then after that, Wales, they were trying to get out of their own half and they really couldn't. They couldn't really get any momentum and you could just tell that the United States were going to get the opening goal and the opening goal come on the 35th minute it was Pulisic who just cut through the middle there, passed the ball into Way and um, the son of George Way. He scored for the United States. It was a really good finish as well. He took it very confidently, just kind of tapped it into the net. He only had a, a moment to decide where he was going to put the ball and he, he put it right in the corner there. It was a very good goal. And um, I very well taken from the United States player there. And after that... The United States, they didn't really do too much for the rest of the half. Uh, Wales themselves didn't really do too much either. Uh, it was a very frustrating half from Wales. They just couldn't really get going and uh, changes had to be made into the second half. And at half time, the, the Welsh manager, he decided to take off Dan James and replace him with Kiefer Moore. And it was a really good decision from uh, Wales and the Welsh manager because the second half was totally different to the first one. I thought Wales were the better team in the second half, um, especially with Kiefer Moore. He really changed the game, I thought. I thought he was uh, very good tonight. Um, the United States kind of went into their shell a bit in the second half. They didn't really create too many chances and they didn't look like the side that they were in the first half. Um, in the 63rd minute, Wales nearly scored a goal. And then straight after that, in the 64th minute, Kiefer Mui from the corner puts the, the ball over the bar. It was a really good header, but he just couldn't keep it down. And you could just tell throughout that second half that Wales were building. They were building towards summits. They got close a couple of times. And then in the 80, 82nd minute, uh, this was a shocking tackle from Zimmerman. He went right up the back of Gareth Bale. Clear cut penalty and uh, upstep Gareth Bale. To potentially make it one all, and he took the penalty really confidently. He hit, he hit it really hard. The goalkeeper guessed the right way, but the, just the power on the shot was just too much for um, the United States goalkeeper. And Gareth Bale scores, and he always scores in big matches, do, doesn't he? Throughout his career, even though in this game he he, he was quiet, I reckon by his own standards, and I, th I thought he was quite. Um, he wasn't doing too much out there. I, I I just think with Gareth Bale, he just seems to score really important goals at really important times. And after that goal, the momentum was clearly in Wales' favour. And going into that last 10 minutes or so, I really thought Wales were going to nick a win. I thought they were really going to turn it around. And they got close once or twice. Um, the United States, once again, in that last 10 minutes, I think they were just trying to hold on there. And... Um, Right before full time, so it was about the 99th minute, the ball was hoofed downfield by one of the Wales players 
and the American goalkeeper decides to run out, heads the ball, he was caught in no man's land, the ball landed to Gareth Bale, he had a chance from about 40 yards to, to, to kick the ball into the net, because I reckon he would have done so, but one of the United States players did a really cynical foul on Gareth Bale and stopped him from kicking the ball, that the American player got a yellow card, but I reckon if there was nobody behind him, Gareth Bale would have kicked that in the net and Wales would have won the game. But in the end, the match finished one all. I think that the United States will be disappointed, but relieved that they got a point out of that game. And I think Wales will be happy with the points, especially how they started in the first half. And I think if Wales can play like they did in the second half, in their next group stage match against Iran, I think they were a really good chance of winning. Um, their fans were great today, 3,000 of them, made lots of noise. Uh, the American fans, um, they lived up to their, their stereotype of having really lame chants and, and all that key, but pretty much throughout the, the entire match, they were just going, U, S, A, U, <laughs> just like that. I do think, though, with... The United States of America, they're going to have to be a lot better in the next group stage match against England. We all saw how England played today. I think uh, the United States will be a tricky opponent for England, but based on what I've seen today, I don't think that the United States are going to have what it takes to beat England. I think the best that they can hope for is probably a draw in that game. But as I said with Wales, they're a golden chance against Duran, and um, their fans will be travelling to that next stadium and they'll be in full voice yet again so anyways everyone that's been my review of the wales against the united states match it's finished one all let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the game and who were the best players out there so anyways this has been history of football hope you've enjoyed these videos that i've been doing over the last couple of months and um, especially with the world cup on I'm going to be trying to do as many World Cup reviews and World Cup videos as I can. Um, thanks to everyone that's recently joined to the channel and been supporting me. Um, getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. So thanks for tuning in for this video. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tatty bye for now.